All right, so welcome everyone. I am Rajneesh Gupta, and this is our mock interview series for security analyst or security analyst or SOC analyst. Okay, so with me I have Jamin Pathak, and he will be uh, the interviewer, and I'll be the candidate. He will ask me certain question. I'll answer him. He may ask some some specific some uh, counter questions as well. Okay. Before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe the channel, and if you are an existing subscriber. subscriber make sure you press the bell icon to get notified all right so without taking much time let's get started hi jamin how are you hello rajnesh i am good how are you good 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 thank you so much for having me here so my question is on programming language rajnesh okay do you I'm have good. any experience with any programming language i do have uh uh because uh when i started my career I, i i i was involved in some programming activity some automation as well so in a way uh i i worked with the python script so i worked in automating certain tasks a uh, log parsing par parsing certain logs creating uh some scripts for uh, you know pushing some configuration to the remote devices maybe to servers verifying certain configuration script so i use uh, a python script to uh, log into routers and switches and uh, verify if specific uh, uh, commands really exist maybe to uh, snmp communities or maybe interface description if they, that exist it wasn't majorly related to cyber security but i have an idea about how to create one i do have uh, you know i am comfortable in going to github accounts and stack overflow to get some help um i i'm not saying i'm really expert into python script but if uh, you know i can take a help online and i can uh, you know maybe github or stack overflow as i said and i can able to create something myself so it shouldn't be a problem there are two more programming language with which i'm i'm familiar with first is the bash script uh, there are multiple bash script that i used uh, uh, those were already built in so there was something related to grab sys system info ip lock parser firewall panic so these were already built in uh, bash script i i found on github i utilized them to see data from multiple logs or uh, to to grab the system information or to verify if specific a uh, keyword exist in a file or not so um and i use i am familiar with javascript uh, i'm not really good in building the web application all together from scratch uh, but i'm comfortable in terms of uh, uh you know verifying uh, with multiple javascript tags and function uh, related to alert function or uh, or how the javascript and different variables really works uh, just like i'm aware about python and different data types like dictionary or uh, maybe list tuple uh, i'm i'm familiar with javascript variables as well so that that's my understanding and my experience working with programming language so these are the three uh, and i yeah i forgot to tell you i've even worked a little with the rest api with uh, javascript so that also i have an experience with so yeah Okay, so as this, uh, do you know popular Python modules for malware analysis? Oh uh, yeah, I mean I I work with the Yara Python extension um, uh, because as we know Yara is used for uh, malware classification, so I use with the Yara Python extension for for that purpose to uh, to do the malware sample and classifying those. a uh, malware sample as well i work with the python magic as well which is uh, which is used to determine the file type which is important part of uh, static malware analysis as well uh, then i also work with the hashlib to determine the hash of any file which is very important because once we find the once we get the hash of any file maybe md5 or sha we can then perform a look up on virus total to understand if it is the infected or malicious file or not so these are some of the um, 
scripts or Python scripts I use for malware analysis. So yeah. Okay, got it. So yeah, Rajnish, uh, this is all I have for today. Thank you. All right. Sure. Thank you so much, Jamin. Now this is You're pro welcome. tip. Uh, uh, this is going to be a pro tip. Make sure you use it. Remember one thing. Uh, 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 you know, even if you don't know about Python, I mean, sorry, a, a programming language uh, before, or you haven't worked practically in the programming language, make sure you at least uh, make your hands dirty with little Python uh, scripts. Make yourself aware about some of the important Python modules as well and Python scripts as well. To help you out, I'll I'll mention some of the GitHub pages and projects in the description below. I go through the go through that, and whenever an interviewer asks you about if you have any experience with programming language, make sure you never say no. Uh, rather, you can answer it by saying that I haven't got a chance to work in the production environment, but I have personally worked with it on my personal capacity for sure. Okay. Tell them that you have worked on your personal capacity. You know about this and that. During the interview, if somebody asks you about Python, remember uh, one of the popular questions that they might ask you about the Python is uh, what is the mutable and immutable data types, right? So tuple or dictionary list. The, these are the important things that you should be aware about. What is immutable? What is immutable? Mutable is something that can be changed. Immutable, that's some that cannot be changed, right? So you should really learn about it. Uh, they about the bash script. They might uh, ask you to create a, some simple bash script. So make sure you are familiar with some of the simple commands in the bash script. And for JavaScript, I don't think uh, the interviewer may ask you a lot of things. Okay, so I I, I told. I told you about three questions, a three programming language. You can even say just one. Just just tell them I know about Python, or you can tell tell them about Bash script. Make sure whatever you say, you are at least thirty to forty percent comfortable with it. Okay, and uh, uh, rest when they ask you about any projects that you have worked with. Uh, make sure you go through the GitHub, uh, any of the projects, uh, GitHub projects, or you created a small projects that you can confidently talk about. Okay, so this is the pro tip from my side. If you have any question about this session, just ask me in the comment section. Uh, we would love to answer that. This is me with Raj this is me, Rajneesh Gupta with Jamin Patak. Bye for now.